So we're comparing. Yes. Three singers? Yes. I'm always here for a good gown. Who is this? Do I know her? I think her name's Jane. Jane? Jane, yeah. J A N E. Oh, you've seen her once. Okay. Oh, the stressful heartbeat. I appreciate the fragility. Okay, let's talk about the tongue. Because I am obsessed with the tongue. Oh, I missed it. What is this phrase, guys? Ran. 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 She. Ran. Ran. I don't know what your tongue is doing. Because your teeth are shut. It's like an L. My tongue is flipping, it's touching the roof. Uh, yeah, 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 that's uh, it. Uh, but then, then, then you continue. Ran. Ran. Yes, you do. Ran. Yes. Ran. Yes. So, you sing this phrase. Do you know this? I'll play it for you again. Again? So, can I have less R and stick? Can you do it with less? And it sounds like you have a speech impediment. Yeah. Okay. But well, can you do it anyway? I just want to hear it. Again. Then you're not saying that. She would be criticized if she sings like that. Okay. Yeah. Like, can I do that much? Ren. Ren. Okay, she down the R boss. Yeah. Ren. Ren. Is this good? That's that's okay. That's acceptable. But it's loose, right? It's really looser. loose. Yes, it's loose. Yeah. I wish. I wish for you the. You know what? Older people may not like the word. Sure. Your approach. Yeah. It's like I think the comparison I'm realizing is people with Ariana Grande. Pe adults are like, I can't hear a damn word she's saying. I can't. She's not pronouncing a single word. It just sounds like blah blah blah. I think it's because. It's the same idea. Same idea. Yeah, yeah. It's the bottom of a range. Han Hong? Yeah. Pretty. I can't believe the budgets of these shows. <laughs> Full choir. It's crazy. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful register change. Did I like her before? She didn't do too well last time we saw her. <laughs> it was a live performance and she was constantly just a little bit flat. Okay, okay, well this is great.
Disney vibe, kind of a Disney princess vibe. Chinese has a lot of uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, kind of theatrical. This is great. Like Jem, she uses the, well, Jem cries, but this, this register change seems to be, I don't know if it's just this song, but she's doing it quite a few times. But I like it, and it's suitable. And she makes me want to do it more. Very well used. I'm curious that Ghost is one of the singers because I'm tempted to say that I can't imagine somebody will outperform this, but Ghost will give her a run for her money. Mm. Okay, what do you guys think? Do you think she chickened out of the top note or do you think she designed it like this? Oh, let's hear it again. <laughs> what do you think? To me, it sounds deliberate. It's I think it's deliberate. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess two against one. <laughs> because it was like soft and she kind of tapped Yeah, but it's it. like a semi-tone higher. Why would you switch it? <laughs> or maybe she meant to yodel it more. You're right. Maybe she just meant to yodel it more and the yodel didn't yodel. Okay. Yeah, I think she could have totally hit it if she wanted to. Oh, I agree. Yeah. I agree. But I think sometimes when you're live, you have a plan and then you like change your, you're like, and you like, oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I did the other thing. Right. No, you're right. She meant to. She meant to do that. Yeah, I just saw, every time. yes, yeah. I think she meant to do it, but we just didn't get the full yodel. So it sounded mm. not as deliberate. Mm. And Aisha actually points out that these register changes she's doing, it is really easy to spin out of control mm. when you're when you're flipping up, especially when you're high up and you're in your power and you flip. It's it's almost like taking your foot right off the gas, speeding down the highway. So it can be like whoa, and she's really really in control. Mm. These are nice lines. The melodies are really. S this is a singer friendly song. Mm -hmm. This is a really singery song. Mm -hmm. If you'll notice, I have not yet mentioned her vibrato, and we are <laughs> five minutes into this song, and that is because it's not in the way mm. for me. It's really nice. Hi. 
Well, whoever's next, buckle up. Beautiful arrangement. This, the singers in the background, really beautiful arrangement. The men. This was, this was a really, really great performance. What's her name again? Jane. 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 She's one of the respected female vocalists. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised that you didn't like her before. Well, it must have been an did off day for her. No, did you watch that? No, that I haven't. I, but but I just that episode? Her. Is that episode where there's like a bunch of lip syncers and there's like oh. um, just a few singers singing live? And we only reviewed the live ones. We right? only reviewed the live mm -hmm. ones on, on, on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair, fair. And she was um. kind of flat. Like almost so, every line she's, she's I think I think I might have commented if I remember. I was like, I don't think she can she Yeah, can yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you Yeah, I don't think she can hear because yeah. I've had that happen and usually in the moment you even you know. You even you know. But there's nothing you can exactly. do. You're like you're in it, it's happening. Time to commit. You just, <laughs> just smile a lot <laughs> and you're in it. Yeah. Okay, round two. Ding! Ghost. I thought the last one was quite good. So far, I prefer the first one. Mm. Thoughts? That? The vibrato. Okay. <laughs> Just great tone, though. Very rich. No, this is really good. <laughs> okay, so the yodels might be built into this song a little bit. Who's the original singer of this? We don't know. The original singer was the first. I I kind of had a feeling. Mm. I kind of had a feeling. <laughs> what is this song from? Is this just someone's song? I, I'm not too sure. I, I, the only reason I'm asking Jay is I just wanted to say that this is... I, I, I think this is one of the m most relatable songs. To you? For me, yeah. No? I'm so surprised. Well, I just mean it doesn't have any Before of the... Before we started, I thought you were going to be bored. Hey, I'm not saying this I'm very far celebrating. Far from, like, your modern pop. Yes, but the, the intervals. Mm -hmm. It's all about the intervals. This sounds like a, a, this, a similar intervals that's something that would be in, like I said, a Disney movie. Uh, or something. There's there's not those like whatever intervals it is that makes the more traditional Chinese songs sound traditionally Chinese. This one doesn't have a lot of them to my ear. Interesting. Let me. Uh... It does give me Disney vibes. Disney vibes. It's very Disney like. I feel like. Yes. It actually sounds. Oh, this is gonna sound poo poo, but it <laughs> it sounds like a song that would run during the credits. Oh. To me. To me. To me. Like it's the end, and the it, the prince met the princess, and the ah, uh, and they walk off in the sunset, and this song plays. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the orchestra and the yeah, 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 Very. yeah, yeah.
floating through this more than the last it's one. Mm -hmm. It's the theme song of a movie, actually. Ah, yeah. 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 So the yodels were built in by the first girl. Yes. So she's emulating the yodels from the original singer. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, great. Both of them sound great. Can I just say that her lipstick, if I'm understanding, was like a Korean thing or something where it's like dark on the inside and then lighter on the outside, like, like uh, Kool-Aid lips? Or like popsicle lips. Do you know? I have no idea. Do you know what I'm talking about? It was like yeah. big, like during the the last Olympics, which were in Japan, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, like it was a big thing there too. Like if you look, it's like really dark in the center, like when you're eating a popsicle, and then by the outside, it's kind of like normal yeah, color. Yeah, yeah, I think it's pretty. Why is it empty? Oh, it must be COVID. watch she changed a lot eh? i guess so but i've always really liked her face mm. like i just find i find her beautiful but i also just find her really authentic really sincere like i believe her i don't feel like she's ever really acting or putting on a show which she very well may be that's not for me to know i just enjoy watching her and i think she's good at what she does that's the whole point is for me to think that she's in it Now that's some classical ass vowels. She just shifted gears pretty hard right there. <laughs> the last girl, she did not use classical vowels. Mm. And her vibrato just went full tilt. <laughs> she's, she's classically trained. Yeah, I mean, look, yeah. just because classical training is a wart on my nose, mm. Doesn't mean it's a wart on everyone's nose. I'm sure a lot of people get complete shivers when she goes here. Yeah. It's a B. I can't, I can't make my vibrato work. Oh, beautiful. I should mention, singing quietly, really, really, really high like that, pulling the volume down is quite prized and quite difficult. So what we just heard her do on that high, high note and pull the volume down but maintain the pitch is quite, <laughs> is just bravo to her. Here it is, I'll show it to you again. Yeah. I want 
29 backup vocalists everywhere I go. <laughs> Piercing. Oh, that was pretty darn good. That was pretty darn good! Yeah. I still think the first one has a very, very special sparkle and charm too. Mm. Is this your preference? Is this your preference? Yeah, two really different. She's really pretty and refined and she sounds great and very skilled. The first one is just um, more raw. It captures me more. I don't know why, why it is. This one felt more like Celine Dion. Like, I'm here to be prolific and it's prolific. The first girl, that's why I was surprised when you said she didn't write it. And it makes sense when you... Well, she didn't that, write it, but she was the... The original singer, original sorry. Singer. I just mean it feels like the original singer. She sings it like she was the one who made those choices. And she is the one who designed those yeah. choices. So that is her sparkle, is that... it Like, those yodels, the, the register changes which Ghost used, were beautiful. But you can tell the first girl created it, mm -hmm. made that vibe. I don't know. I, mm. I guess this one's my preference, but like mm, tough call. Yeah, I don't I like even both, know. Really. Yeah, I, I liked her interpretation quite a bit, but I think there's something very special about mm. the first one. Who's the third? Oh, we'll, we'll check it out now. Is it Joe Shen? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> You'd probably be our favorite. <laughs> well, you know what? These two singers, which we just watched, are very, very special too. I need, I need some girl crushes up in here because, so far, JJ and Joe Shen have been my favorite, and I think Ghost might be climbing the ladder. Mm. Is this old? Song? It's not no, this cool. performance. This performance, yeah, it's got some years. I can't really hear her over the instruments. This would have been great if I didn't just hear the first two. Mm. Like, this is great. This is fine. This is nice. This is... It's nice. Mm. But I feel like the first two were really special. Do you know her? Her name is Yao Bei Na. And she's actually... She passed away. Really? Breast cancer. Well, now I look like a dick. <laughs> Let's keep watching. <laughs> young to die. Yeah. 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 Too bad. She's actually a very, very good vocalist. Her stylization is not as modern as the two young girls. Mm -hmm. I don't know how old the first girl was, but both of their takes were just a little bit more fresh for me. But if you're looking starkly at, let's just say, vocal ability, this is great. Chew 
like she's doing a less extreme version of the register change and yodel. It's a little bit more tucked in, which is really nice. And some people may prefer it that way when it's not so prominent and slappy. <laughs> really really good I'm gonna ask you instead of Jay because I know it stresses him out what is this about oh gosh I this is my first time hearing the song I haven't been keeping track of the lyrics well same here <laughs> I assume that scenes from the movie? Yes, yes. Mm? She's good. Yeah, she's really, really good. Was she popular? I think she was. She died 33. She died at age 33? Yeah, at 33. She's actually, like, one of the, like, she's quite good. She's good. Yeah. 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 I think... She's actually really, really beautiful. Well, what do you think, Jay? Uh, what's my favorite? Yeah. I like the first one, actually. The original singer. Yeah, I do too. Not because the other two didn't sing as well. All three of these are They're prolific all and very, very, great very good. Yeah. Singers, but. The first one, just more raw, just more sincere, more... it's hers. Yeah, I think, I think I'll give it to the first singer as well. I really did like Ghost, and this is really, really strong as well. Mm. You? It's, it's kind of interesting. We have three vocalists, and they all have that skill level, and they're all so good, but mm -hmm. it's their interpretation and how they bring the song out and present it. So my, I, I like the first one, obviously. For some reason, it was just natural how she did it. We all like the first one. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, all three vocalists, like, I don't, I don't think any one of them is, is clearly a better singer mm. than any of what you just said. That there's, yeah. there, We're not really, like, comparing skills, yeah. but more just interpretation. I mean... The first girl was the most, I feel like I've overused this word today, but the first girl was the most dramatic performance, but I don't mean like she was drama. I just mean she used loud louds, quiet quiets, airy. I always, I always like to see singers use extremes. So if you're going to do an airy falsetto, go all the way. If you're going to belt, go all the way. And juxtapose those right beside each other because that is when the listener gets to have the most roller coaster of an experience. Mm -hmm. And I'd say the first singer did the most of that. Mm -hmm. Ghost did some. Mm -hmm. 
And this singer did the least of it, but but that's just a stylistic choice. She kept things a little bit more steady, a little bit more sturdy throughout, but all performances, like this is, yeah, this is a very, very strong set mm -hmm. of singers. And like I said, I, I like the song too. Throw them back to Lila's count. I am gonna swing from the chandelier, from the chandelier. I'm gonna live like tomorrow doesn't exist, like it doesn't exist. Thank you for subscribing to our monthly membership on Billy Billy if you've done that already. Here's what we're gonna do. If you subscribe, you then have the ability to submit a video of you singing to us for me to review. But here's the stuff that you have to remember. Number one, this has to be high quality, okay? This isn't you singing into your cell phone, nah. This needs to be the same quality or very close to the same quality of the videos that we're already reviewing. So you need to have good camera, good microphone. You can't submit somebody else, has to be you, okay? Next, we have to at least see your mouth, okay? If you wanna have a Batman mask on or whatever you wanna do, fine. Uh, you can obscure if you want. I mean, I wanna see your pretty face, but it's up to you. If you do send us a video, we get to do what we're gonna do. Just know that I will show it the same respect and love and compassion and critical eye that I cast on every other video. I'm pretty excited. Thank you.